Hello, what's up you two photographer Ronnie Sweet and I in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can easily sharpen your images in Photoshop. So usually sometimes we tend to get blurry images and we want a quick way to fix that and we get back the detail and the sharpness with the image. So that when we post or print out the images, we can end up with a very nicely sharpened image with no artifacts. Remember, sharpening is more about enhancing the contrast within the image while retaining the prominent pixels within the photos so what i'm going to show you is a very nice and simple way that is going to help you sharpen the images so we're just going to be using frequency separation to sharpen the images i know we use frequency separation oftentimes to do skin retouching and right now i'm telling you that you can use it to sharpen your images so before you can proceed I have a request that you hit the like button on this video because hitting the like button or pressing the like button is going to help the video perform better and also help the channel grow in the long run. So make sure that you hit the like button on this very video. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come and create two layers out of the background there by pressing Ctrl or Command J twice. Then if I told you I've been doing retouching or if I told you I've been doing skin retouching, on your image and you have a couple of layers to work on in your photoshop make sure that you create a stamp visible layer and if at all you're using pc just simply press shift alternate ctrl e on the keyboard to create a stamp visible layer that is going to act as the background layer then if at all you're using mac simply press shift option command e on the keyboard and that is going to create a stamp visible layer that is going to act as a background and after creating that simply create these two layers like we have right now so for this case i only have the background and i'm just going to come and come and create two layers straight away so what i'm going to do, i'm just going to rename this into rename this to black and i'm going to name this into details just like this so it is more like the frequency separation but this time around, I've just changed the name. So, just going to come to the blur layer. And what is different for this case, we come to filter and we come to blur and come to gush and blur. So, for this case, usually we tend to blur out the textures in the image. But for this case, we're just going to be using a radius between 2 and 3 pixels. For this case, I'm just going to leave it at 3 pixels and simply press OK. Then I'm going to come to the textures all the details layer right here i'm just going to come to image and i'm going to come down to apply image so when i come to apply image i'm just going to simply select the layer that is the blur layer and for this case we're just going to be using a blend mode of subtract and opacity at 100 percent preserve transparency and mask are not checked the scale is 2 and offset 128 and make sure the invert option is not checked in this case with the preview on just come and simply press ok so when you select ok just come the blend mode and change it from normal and change it down to linear light so you're going to get back the image where it was meant to be initially before so you're just going to put this string in the group and simply press ctrl command g on the keyboard and we're going to name this into sharpening not frequency separation but sharpening so i prefer to leave everything really uniform every single time i am retouching because i want to keep track about every adjustment that i made to the image so right now this is the layer that we have or the group that we have created for our sharpening so like i said at the start of this tutorial when we are sharpening the image we want to enhance the contrast or the, con the contrast within the image in the textures so or in the more pixel density areas so i'm just going to come to our detail layer and select it and in order to create a layer on top of the detail layer i'm just going to come and select the detail layer and make sure it is selected come to the adjustments and create a curves adjustment layer so like i said we want to enhance the darker pixels and that is going to sharpen the image in this case so after creating the curves adjustment layer, we are going to create a clipping mask. So by clipping mask, I mean 
this curve's adjustment line is only going to be affecting the details and it is this curve's ad adjustment line that is going to add contrast into the details of the image so let me show you this so just come to your curves adjustment layer right here and simply click in the middle and in order to get the right middle point just come to the input and type in 128 and also set the output as 128 just like that and after doing that just press enter and that is going to select a midpoint for you so you're just going to make two other points one in the darkest area of our curves layer and one in our brightest areas of the curves adjustment layer so what you're going to do let me just zoom in so that you can see the sharpening as you're applying it to this very photo so like i said we want to enhance more the contrast within the darkest areas of the image using, using the curves and this is going to sharpen the image in the process so just come to the point that we made in the darkest area and simply start so let me just undo this so remember we clipped this we have to clip this layer to affect the details like i said so just come and click on the detail layer to clip it to the details or in order to clip it to affect the details before you make an ad adjustment simply come and hold on the alternate key on the keyboard or option and click between these two layers and it's going to create a clipping mask so before you drag the shadows down always make sure that you have selected the clipping mask so that it can affect only the details and simply come and drag it down so let me just zoom in a little bit for you so that you can see everything in real time so i'm just going to drag this lower and lower and you can see the more i drag it down the sharper the image is going to be in this case so always make sure to don't affect the bright areas because that is going to create some halos around the brightest areas so just look at a quick before and after for sharpening just the before and after before after just look at how enhanced and how sharp the image details have turned out to be so if at all you just want to target specific areas for a sharpening just come and select this white layer mask and simply press ctrl i or command i on the keyboard and that is going to invert this white mask get the brush tool and make sure the hardness is at zero percent opacity in the flow of 100 percent and simply select white right here so you can reset by clicking on these two small boxes and you can switch between black and red by using x on the keyboard and with that done you can just come and paint on the areas that you want to sharpen in the image and you can see by just painting in these areas it is just sharpening or adding a beautiful sharpness to the areas we are painting on so you can see this and how to elaborate that a little bit better I'm just going to come right to the pants of the model right here and i just paint i'm just going to dab so that you can see how it is going to bring out those details just look at the details it is bringing out in this very area just look at it before and after for the sharpening before after before after just look at those details right there so this is how to sharpen your images using frequency separation and if i told you i found the video really helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronis from ronis photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing shows and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating